Thank you, and thank you for coming. Um, just briefly, I wanted to let you know that my interest in this topic is both professional and personal. Um, I was first introduced to ayahuasca back in 1987. Um, during a trip to Ecuador, um, we were working with shamans, and I met my future wife um, just before an ayahuasca session and changed uh, my life in some very significant ways, including my two children, who are now here, two youngest children. Um, also, about three years ago, I think it was, um, I traveled to Ecuador with my oldest son, who's now 22, who was experiencing substance abuse problems with alcohol and marijuana and was getting into a lot of trouble. And fortunately, we have a friend who's a shaman from Ecuador who now lives in Santa Fe, New Mexico, and he had suggested that we travel to Ecuador to drink ayahuasca that would help him with his substance abuse problem. So trusting this gentleman very, very much, we traveled to Ecuador and drank ayahuasca um, under the tutelage of an older shaman friend of his who'd been drinking ayahuasca daily for over 50 years in the Rio Napo region of Ecuador. And since then, my son has... Uh, it was not an instant cure, but he's doing much better and not abusing substances any longer. So I have both a personal and professional interest in this topic. And along with my friend James, we decided to investigate how is it possible that this foul-tasting liquid from the Amazon could help people with addictions. And so we began studying different mechanisms to see if we could come up with some hypotheses that might be tested to better understand how this medicine might work. And in looking at this, we've come up with four different hypotheses which we believe are interrelated that may help explain how ayahuasca works. These are not independent hypotheses, but interrelated. And we've looked at how ayahuasca may work at biochemical, physiological, psychological, and transcendent levels. And that's what we'd like to present today. So I'll turn it over to James for the hard parts of the talk. So to uh, set the stage for our first and second hypothesis, uh, hypotheses, I'm going to talk a little bit about um, the basic biochemistry of ayahuasca and addiction. 